Hey Thingsters and welcome to this video where I want to show you real quick how to convert a list of lists into a NumPy array. So this is a very frequent operation you have to do if you use uh, NumPy if you are interested in data science. Um, then this is really critical that you know how to do this. But it's very simple so no worries. Say you have this list called LST of six values and those values are organized as a list of lists. So we have an outer list. Uh, indicated with the square bracket notation and two inner lists and each inner list has three elements. And now we want to, we want to convert this list of lists into a two-dimensional NumPy array. So the solution is really simple. So you simply call uh, the NP array function on uh, the list data structure and this function then automatically converts it into an array with two rows and uh, three columns um, per row. And um, this Actually, this method works for, uh, so let's maybe print this, print this to the shell so that you can see the output. Um, okay, so I have already uh, executed uh, other Python code here, but you see uh, this is a perfect uh, NumPy array, two dimensional NumPy array. So if this were a list, then you would still see the commas here. Yeah, The fact that you don't see commas here indicates that it's a NumPy array, but you can also check, obviously you can type in uh, type of uh, array A and you see it's a uh, NumPy ND array. Okay, and this works even if you have if you have uh, lists with multiple elements, okay, so, uh, with a different number of elements, okay. So say you have six, seven, eight, nine, something like this. So you have a um, list of lists, but each list has this different number of elements, okay. And if you if you now use the array function, then it will do something strange. It will still work. You see, we have, uh, we have a um, NumPy array. So because you don't see the comma here, this indicates that we have a NumPy array. We can also check. We can check um, type of A and you see it's a NumPy array. And But each element of the NumPy array is now a Python list. And this is this may not be a, uh, um, what you desire actually to, to have. So you probably if you want to convert a list of lists with uh, multiple elements per, per inner list, then you want to have uh, an array of array arrays. Okay, so you want to have a NumPy array of NumPy arrays. This would make more sense, at least uh, for me. So how can you do this? Um, actually, it's, uh, it's pretty simple. You simply, you can, you have two approaches. So let's go over both of them. Um, the first one is you create a NumPy array as before. But now as input, you use, you use list comprehension to convert each array separately, uh, each, each uh, inner list separately into a one-dimensional NumPy array. Okay, and now you have a, an, an outer NumPy array and you have three inner NumPy arrays. And this means that you have a NumPy array of NumPy arrays. Okay, so this would simply, so we simply convert. So list comprehension, you may know it. You, we have the context part and the expression part. The exp expression tells us um, which elements we want to include in our list. And the uh, expression part tells us what to do with these elements before we um, add it to our list. Okay, and we convert them. We convert a, a list X to a NumPy array with this with this call, and we do this for all lists in our outer list. And now we get. So let's execute this now. We get an array NumPy array of arrays, as you can already see here. We can also print the type of A again, and no, you see it's an uh, it's an outer array. So we have a NumPy array, but you also see that the inner elements are all arrays by themselves. Okay, so we have now created a NumPy array of arrays. But this may not even be so. In many cases, this is still strange because now you cannot do some advanced multidimensional um, array operations yeah so because because you actually you don't have a multi-dimensional array you simply have an array of arrays and you cannot use the multi the powerful multi-dimensional feed uh, access feature for example slicing feature in numpy so oftentimes what you want to do is to create a, an um, array of equal length lists okay uh, out of equal length lists so what you what you have to do here is to fill up all these smaller lists so that they match the length of the larger list and then you have a, um, a list of lists and each list has equal sized um, 
uh, number of elements okay so um, you can you can do this for example with the following method which is like a very concise method first you calculate the length of the maximum element of the maximum list in your list of lists and we do this with this function very simple so we uh, we use the max function over all uh, lists in the uh, um, in the in our outer list and we use as key we use the length function okay so here this one would have key 3 this one would have key 2 and this one would have key 4 and now we take the maximum which is 4 but then this would be re simply return this longest list so we have to convert it to the length with the, which is done by this keyword okay now you, we know the the length of the uh, longest list in our list of lists and now we can simply convert this um, this a list of lists into a list of lists with equal sized sublists and we do this with uh, list comprehension again we uh, use our expression x plus none so we fill it up with uh, none data types and we multiply this so how many none uh, types we need is um, n minus which is our longest uh, list minus the length of this current um, list which we are looking at for x in list Okay, so now let's explain this again. We have the context. We do something for all lists in our outer list of lists. Okay, so so we have like we execute this this three times for each list in this outer list. And what we are doing here is we concatenate our um, inner list with a list consisting of only none types. Okay, and how many nuns? Um, none elements. And how many nuns? So many nuns as uh, we need to fill it up. Um, until we reach the, ma the maximum length n okay so and how many elements are this n minus the length of the current list okay so if, if we have like the maximum length is four then and we have a list with two elements then we have four minus two equals two elements in our um, two, two none elements to fill it up until it reaches four elements as well so let's print this so that, that you see what you have just produced so if you execute this, you see we have created a um, list of lists um, and each list, each inner list has actually four elements. And if it previously had um, less elements, you just fill it up with this none elements. Okay. And now we have a list of lists with equal sized uh, lists. So we can now simply use this list two as input to our array routine and we create a Two dimensional numpy array again so this is probably this is my preferred w uh, way of doing it so if you want to convert a list of lists with a uh, different number of elements per list into a into an um, two-dimensional numpy array then just fill it up with some elements i mean sorry you can also use um, like zero instead of none so you can use the element zero for example to fill it up or minus one or um, as you know as you want i mean it depends on your application but if you now we have just filled it up with zeros if we didn't know the elements it depends on your applications of course but this is the preferred way because now you have a nice and pretty uh, homogeneous numpy array okay thanks for listening to this video and see you in the next video bye